Now then, Kerrigan. Perhaps you had best explain yourself. What is this news you've come to give? There is a new Overmind growing on chart. What? Impossible. Why should we believe anything you have to say? Because, Zeratul, I'm no longer the mindless murderess whom you fought on Char. The Overmind is dead. Whatever warped control it once had over me is gone. I know that this is a lot to take in all at once, but you've got to believe me. There's more at stake here She than... lies. She is infested to the core. I, for one, will not listen to any of this. Silence, Judicator. Continue, Kerrigan. Apparently, many of the renegade cerebrates commanded by Dagoth have merged into a new Overmind. Fortunately, the creature is still in its infant stages. It can't control the swarm yet. But Dagoth and the others still have control over most of the broods. The two cerebrates you killed here were part of Dagoth's forces. Look, I don't need to tell you all what might happen if that thing reaches maturity. I can guarantee you that should it awaken, it'll take full control of me, just like it did before. I don't want that to happen, and I'm pretty sure you don't want it to happen either. Even if what you say is true, our priority is to save this world, not assault the new Overmind. We must find the crystals Urash and Kalos before we are all vanquished. Then I'll help you with your search. If you can defeat the renegade Zerg gathered here, it'll weaken the efforts of Dagoth and his ilk. My children, you must put aside your fears and misgivings to accomplish what must be done. For the time being, Kerrigan will assist you in your endeavors. Though she has been your enemy, it is enough that we share the same agenda now. Allow her time enough to prove herself to you, and you may find her to be a valued ally. For now, you must focus on the task at hand. Search for the Urosh on the planet Braxis, and let nothing stop you from recovering it. We will do what you ask, Matriarch. But you cannot expect us to forgive Kerrigan's crimes against our race. Executor, prepare our forces. We shall debark for the planet Braxis before the next moonrise. Shut all is coming in. Anyways, hi, welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft Brood War. I, I fortunately have a couple of uh, Reavers I'm going to put into the back here. You know, the, 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 the Reavers can mostly handle everything. Like, I don't really understand what they expect from me. But anyways, so yeah, welcome back and we're, we now have to make a base. I don't have enough minerals for this, though. Explain something to me, Zaratul. Why would your people leave such a secret crystal in the hands of these Terrans? We didn't. Long ago, this world was a Protoss colony called Kirador. When the strife between our tribes escalated, this planet and the Urash crystal were abandoned. These Terrans have come here only recently. So, hey everyone. Uh, I guess while we're establishing our base here, I'm going to go into full story mode, basically. So, you know, grab your popcorn, start the start start a fire, you know, uh, well, in your fireplace, preferably, but, you know. You can, you can set something nearby on fire as well. That, that works. Oh, God. Uh... Basically, I'm going to tell you a little story about, um, a little something I've learned about, uh, uh well, I, I've read, I've read a, oh, damn it, don't attack that stuff. Oh god, why are you fuckers attacking this? Okay, anyways, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story about actually how StarCraft came to be in the form it's in right now, which is, uh, kind of interesting. Um, for anyone who doesn't know how this game actually looked in, in beta, we have a problem. Our warp matrix was damaged during transit. Because of the extensive damage, we will be unable to warp in stargates to this location. I'll be okay. I usually do reavers and shit anyways. Um, 
so sorry, back on my story. Um, so if you've actually never seen StarCraft in, in, uh, in its very early stages, it actually looked a little bit like Warcraft 2 in space. Uh, and they called it Orcs in Space, jokingly enough. And uh, that's actually how it was uh, in about 96, 95 or something along those lines. Because uh, they were looking to release a game in 96 to, to apparently fill in a production gap. Uh, the, the old Blizzard did. Um, and so basically, yeah, they, they, they made that... They were, they were making it with the Warcraft 2 engine, and so they had like the top-down view and all that. It wasn't isometric like you see right now, and a whole bunch of other shit like that. So, you know, it's interesting stuff. Um, and so what happened with that was they actually took it to a trade show. They, they, took, they took the whole thing to a trade show, and they got their ass absolutely kicked by a, a game called Dominion Storm, uh, which is like a... It was like a, an, it was basically, it looks kind of like this. It's like a isometric, isometric game uh, with really cool looking this. So, you know, when you compare, compare the two, it's like, really, it's kind of interesting because you kind of see where uh, te the technology is heading. And they were absolutely amazed by the technology put forward because this was like 96 or something like that. And so, um, so at this trade show, they uh, they were showing off work, and everyone was going, "Oh wow, it's it's orcs in space! Wow, you know, kind of thing." Like it, there wasn't like excitement or hype behind it, because that's usually what you go to these these trade shows for. Why are the dragons not attacking? Uh, there's usually hype and and all that kind of crap around that. Tra that's why they do trade shows. Uh, and so and so they got they got their asses handed to them basically. And they're like, "Okay, guys, we need to go and make uh, we need to change this." So. Um, Based upon that, the demo that they saw the employees of uh, the, the company who made uh, Dominion Storm is um, uh, Ion Storm. I'm oh, sorry, Dominion. Yeah, I think I have the name right. Uh, uh, Ion Storm, which is the same people who did. Um, if I get the name wrong, I, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, the same people who did Deus Ex, actually. Um, maybe they didn't do Deus Ex completely because I think I read something about how they apparently finished the game off. That's what Ion Storm did. Maybe anyway, so. Based upon this demo that they saw uh, the, the Iron Storm uh, employees playing, they completely redid their engine. They had like this this 14 month crunch time where you know literally the guy who made the StarCraft engine was like locked in a room for like two weeks and uh, and and worked his ass off to basically bring this out. And 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 this is like the true to the old Blizzard. Like they they really want to make uh, a really great game, and this became one of the defining games in the genre because of that demo uh, that they saw and they, they basically like this this amazing technology they saw and they and and so yeah this became a defining ga game in the RTS genre so what happened to Dominion Storm is the question um, apparently a little dirty secret came out uh, came, came into light and that was that the demo that they actually saw was not a game that was actually a pre-rendered demo which is an ironic little plot twist. They were, they were, they remade their entire engine under the premise of, uh, uh, under the illusion that there was this game called D Iron Storm that was going to basically kick their ass and be like so much better and all that kind of shit. And and they made it based upon this thing that was just a pre-rendered demo. And so D uh, uh, Dominion Storm didn't come out until like years and years later, and it wasn't nearly as good uh, as they had originally thought it would be. It's it's interesting stuff though. Uh, so like yeah, so this entire ga this entire game was kind of inspired by a game that never existed, uh, at least in its uh, current form. And I find that to be actually probably one of the the, the funnier things about this whole situation because it is it is this is one of my per personal favorite games of all time. It's just it it gets a lot of things right and something's perfect and it's just it's it's ideal for me and and I, and I like really like to read that story so there's more to it um, if you're interested I, I'm leaving some I'm gonna leave some links to some interesting articles in the comments below I uh, sort out the comments the the description below so you can go have a look at that uh, as well as there's like a a lot of beta screenshots for the way this game was originally supposed to look in like uh, in like different forms of the engine, which is also kind of interesting. Um, and I'll, I'll see if I can link to some of that. Some interesting things you can read up on if you're interested in StarCraft. That is, because I certainly am. Because they had some really interesting things like uh, the Goliath and Dragoon were always staple units in 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 this. 
the game, and uh, and like they were kind of like messing around with this, the the third race and all that, and then they had like dropships. And man, the art style for this game just changed so drastically from from all these uh, beta screenshots that I that I took 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 a look at. I find that I find that to be really interesting, and I and I enjoy it a whole lot. So. So as I said, this is this took a good part. This took a good chunk out of my childhood. Is just this thing, this game right here. So, all right, well let's let's start to move out a little bit. We could probably just uh, yeah, there's a little base over here. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. we're gonna range them with reavers. Also, apparently, uh, even though the stargates are damaged, we can still uh, we can still get some some shuttles. Oddly enough. All right, and let's get that one right here. Oh god, don't kill me. Oh, you're gonna kill him. There we go. I guess we'll just, uh, we're gonna continue to range his stuff because fuck it, why not? You know, I did, uh, I did, I did, uh, Reaver's last mission. I guess I'll just do it again. Oh, there's a tank over there. Um, therein lies the problem. I don't really know what I want to do with it. I love the combat. Because tanks are kind of suck. They uh, they have long range and shit. But yeah, I, there's a lot more to the story than I'm what I'm telling you. So as I said, if you're if you're interested in this stuff, uh, I I would highly recommend looking it up. Because uh, there's a lot of interesting history with a game like this, and I think I think there is like the paradigm shit, like the the, the shift in, in in focus with like a company like uh, Blizzard, because then Blizzard became like uh, like you know they used to be have a lot of talented young developers, and then it got kind of shifted into a World of Warcraft making machine, which I, I was never pleased about. Oh god. Let me go and get that tank. And that 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 that, that is a hero uh a hero of Firebat who managed to hit like all of my dragoons. That's okay, we're about to finish this base off. Which means we get an expo too, that's kinda nice. I'm gonna get a shuttle out because then I can easily bring these guys out of here. It's kind of important to me. Oh god. <laughs> I kind of just like how the marine in Firebat is like, oh, I, c I could take that. Okay, too many of my guys are dying right now. We're gonna just leave these guys up here and bring these. We'll bring these uh, dragoons down and help attack there. Oh, a wraith! Oh god, don't kill that. They have like a lot of crap here. I should bring these. I should bring these guys back here. Watch my sick dragoon micro. Oh god, come on, help him! No, he's trapped. <laughs> There we go. All right, Let's just finish off this little base here. Oh, you know, a, a lot of my a lot of my favorite games are made by companies who were willing to, you know, that, that kind of did a whole like they, they suck perfection basically. If that's if that's a, the the past tense of seek suck. It seems wrong, but right at the same time. Um, and, you know, as I said, there's not a whole lot of companies right right now like that. Um, there are a few. Uh, Grinding Gear Games is one of them. I, that I, I honestly get that whole drift of it's a it's a company that cares about their product rather than uh, you know. There's a lot of nine to five guys at these kinds of companies, and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. But I, I kind of miss the young, ambitious companies of old that would uh, work on this stuff. Makes me kind of sad. Not really. 
No, I am sad. I'm really. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cry now. I'm sorry, it's not really a. It's not really a complaint. It's just like you know. I, I feel that a lot of days, um, developers don't make games I would actually like. It's it's my same complaint with a company like EA because they're they they focused on packaged products basically instead of you know actually coming out with like trying really hard and going okay we want to make a really good title that will you know last people a couple of years maybe even like maybe I like so I don't think I'm ever gonna go and revisit you know I can't even like do you think you're really gonna go revisit I don't know Mirror's Edge or something and go hey that was pretty good. Maybe, may, you know, well, maybe not Mirror's Edge, but Mirror's Edge was, uh, I know, I know a lot of people like that. That was a bad example. Um, I don't know. I, I can't think, Battlefield 3, let's go with that, actually. Are you going to ever revisit that? That even depends on if the servers are still up. Uh, because I could, I could still play StarCraft, uh, today. Even if they shut down Battle.net, um, there would be, uh, ways to LAN it, basically. And so if they ever shut down StarCraft 2, you would never get that kind of option. Which is kind of sad, in a way. Okay, I think we should get some observers, actually, which I can't. I'm gonna actually refrain from getting any more, um... Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna get any more Reavers. I'm gonna stick with the ones I actually got when I started this mission. Okay, so that's a, probably an issue right there, is there's a bunker right here. Oh god! Whoa ho ho! <laughs> I, st I still got him. Now oh, I'll, I'll just sick micro. Bam! Oh no, no, it's, a, it's really sick micro. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and do some kick-ass micro. Oh wait, we can. Oh, this is not good. Luckily, luckily, they the AI in this game doesn't actually know Vulture micro, so it's okay. Okay. All right, all right. Get, get ready to watch the best micro you've ever seen. Okay, you ready? All right. All right, here we go. Okay, so there's a fire bat right there. Okay, you see? We go like this. Oh wait, I have no fucking thing. Oh yeah, this is really not that interesting. I'm not good at this actually. There we go. Damn it. This is harder than it looks. They don't attack automatically. I guess that's what that's what you have to do in competitive. You have to manually target it. I had no idea. I, I, you know, I kind of just, I, I watch like, uh, uh, I used to watch like Boxer and shit, uh, like play, play this game, and it was, it was really entertaining, uh, to watch competitive StarCraft play. Um, most of the time I just try and copy it, but it doesn't quite work the, si the same way. Every unit has like its own little weirdness about it, I, I would say. I, I, I'm very clearly not a competitive player, as you can tell. I never did get into that. I got to, I got into the technical side of, of the of the uh, game, but not really the uh, uh, not really the the creative side of it. I'd say. Well, let's go see if we can uh, start pushing out. We we need to find if there's like a way to go up somewhere. Also, I can probably make some observers. No, I can't. I made a citadel of a dune like a dumbass. I mean, I that's not necessarily what I didn't want, but, you know, still. I think I like about plasma shields is that it adds armor for everything. Air units, ground units, you name it. Wait, can I even get with the, can I even get air upgrades? No. So it means I can't even upgrade air, air shuttle stuff. They'd like randomly decide not to attack. I just kind of like to go right on top of them. Alright, let's go figure out where they are. We got an upgrade here. Um, Cause that's what I need, is I need I need a ramp somewhere. Oh, here we go. There's something over here. Oh wait, actually the missile turret's gonna... I'm worried about this because I'm just like, okay. Come on, drop them off. No, oh, come on. Kill them. No, oh, goddammit. These things have the worst pathing ever. I'm pretty sure I've complained about it before. 
Because whatever, you notice whenever I like, I try to make them target something, they they kind of go, re, they kind of go retarded for like a second. They're like, wait, you want me to do what now? Let's make some dragoons to replace the ones I'm losing, and also maybe make a extra gateway or two. Be like down here. Actually, maybe not down there. Okay, yeah, down here. All right. Bring these guys up here. I don't really know what the point of this this place is. Like, oh god, no, 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 not my shuttle. Oh, my shuttle's just barely alive. Okay, I'm gonna have to make another one, and probably some observers. Uh, I think I want to actually make one more uh, warp gate here, right there. There is still no path to get up there. That's ridiculous. I don't even know how I'm gonna make it there. Guess we're gonna like make more shit. You now at this point, like my economy is just so great, I can just do whatever the hell I want. Now at this point, they didn't have things like uh, I can't actually tell like how many idle units I have and stuff like that. Maybe I can go up here. Nope. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Nope. Oh, God, it's dead. Well, that's it. Now my Reavers will go at three times, like, three times slower. Until I shuttle. Wait, no, the shuttle came out. There it is. I'm over here. What, what are what are they reinforcing over there? That's what I want to know. Okay, I think it's actually over here, um, the, the way you're supposed to go in. Because without, without air, it kind of is hard. At least the AI is smart enough to drop off guy. Wow, okay, I have a lot of, I have a lot of shit here. And we're just gonna take out that. Alright. I'm sure these guys will be able to handle this. Just kind of steamroll in there. Yeah, there's your ramp. That's what I thought. So now it's just a matter of slow pushing into the base here. Uh, let's get this guy dropped off over here. So I can start ranging that bunker. Still the same two Reavers I started with. That's not, that's not a bad, uh... That's not bad at all. Kind of like using just to snipe that. One marine? Jesus. It's terrible, Terran. So disappointed by you, Terran. Alright, we'll just get everyone over here then. Whoa, okay, slow down. Now remember, whenever I slow down, I just save. It's the same trick works, I don't really understand why. I think Kerrigan's gonna have to eventually come down here. Hey, you can just kinda go up here. Alright, well, let's just bring uh, these two things over here. You know, another little strategy I always like to do on these maps is the objective is not to actually kill the Terrans, the objective is to actually bring Kerrigan over to the the beacon here. Um, so you could do like a, you could make like a thousand decoy. Uh... Okay, don't lock me down. Okay. And we're just gonna let him handle that. It's the best deal ever. There we go. You know, actually, I think the snow map is one of my favorite layouts, actually. Oh god. Wow, I need more pylons. Oh, a shit ton of money, too. I'm gonna need to make, like, a pylon farm. Luckily, they don't have cloaking yet, so... Even though I have observers, it's not necessary. You know, I would think that if this game actually had difficulty levels, that on a hard difficulty, it would, uh... It, that's what they would actually do. Alright, let's just get everyone over here. Uh, well, goodbye, shuttle. You will be missed. Or not. Might as well just bring everybody down here to attack. 
Okay, Reaver. Let's see. Let's see if you can make it down here before they attack. Oh god, don't fucking... Whatever, go kill it. Whatever. No, no, just come back here. Wow, they, they really... Now we're gonna get we're gonna get absolutely like reamed if we don't uh It's gonna like honestly they have tanks already. What am I supposed to do? Actually where's the observer I had? There you go. Get over here. Yes. Ho hopefully there's no missile turrets here. There you go. So we can see the tank right over here. No you dumb thing. Uh, okay, all we're really doing is we're looking to push onto the side there, so let's do that right now. Fine, we'll finish off the fucking command center, just because this thing wants me to- What the hell are you even attacking? Oh god, these things are retarded. There you go. Okay, now we took that out. And now this is this is the very special zealot. God. You know, I just I gotta get him like out of here. Well, whatever. It looks like that bunker's empty, anyways. I'm surprised they don't just fill it up. Oh, we got more shit here, anyways. Well, you know, we're almost done here, so get that bunker. Actually, you know, really, we should just kind of take out these missile turrets. We could probably bring her over there right now. Let me try that. If not, we'll just run to it. Let's see how this works. Go! Go, Karen! Go! Yeah, yeah we can. Crystal's here, boys. Send in a probe to gather it up, and our work here is done. You have done well, Kerrigan. There's more to you than it seems. Perhaps I have misjudged you. Given our history, I can't say I blame you. Let's just get the job done. Well, I hope you enjoyed, and I guess I'll be seeing you next time, so... See you later.